In this video, I'm going to show the basic programming for changing the power assist levels and other features of a Bafang 850C display for my BBSO2 36 volt motor on my e bike. Hello, this is Ed. Welcome to my channel. This is a TFT 850C LCD display by uh, manufactured, or at least comes from Bafang, I don't know who manufactures it. But I'm going to show you how it works. First, turn on the power at the battery. Push the on button, and on it comes. The, the control button has a plus and a minus and on off button. Those are the buttons you're going to use to uh, program this. To enter the programming feature, you hit the button fast twice, or the on and off button twice very fast. And everything comes on. To go through the uh, different features, you just push the up or down button. I'll take you to the different features. Like the battery indication right now, I have it on percent. But if I wanted to change that, I uh, would just hit the on off button and either turn it off or have it on voltage. So right now it's going to change. So when I go back to it, it's going to show the voltage instead of the percentage. If you want to go to the basic settings, they give you the, the wheel diameter, the battery, the mine's a 36 inch volt battery. Up at the top, they give you uh, units. So I have it uh, set for Imperial. Otherwise you could set it for metric if, you're, if you want to use metric. This is the battery, the USP, Port is on, light sensor. It detects uh, light, so it automatically turns on the headlight if you have one. And it also changes the, the settings of the menu. Now for uh, advanced settings, you have to enter in the, uh, the factory password. So you hit the on and off button. Whoops, sorry, let me do that again. And you go down. Now you hit the input password. And it's 1919, so you hit the plus to get a 1. And you hit the on off button, which takes the next number. Then you hit the negative, which gives you a 9. On off button. Then the uh, one, which gives you or a plus key, we give you the one on off button. And then you hit the negative number, which gives you the nine. And then you hit the on off button. And it gives you the, the speed limit that you can set the unit for. Mine's just at 99 miles per hour, which means that uh, I can go as fast as I want uh, with this. And I have it set up for uh, uh, three assist levels, but uh, you can change that to uh, five or nine. I don't know what UBE is, but uh, I have it set at three. Then you work your way down three, so I'll leave it go at three. Hit the on and off button, that sets it. And go back, hit exit, and I'm out. And now you can see the voltage. Before it was a percentage, now it's 36.1 volts. And uh, going through the unit, it's very simple. You just hit the, the, the on-off button, 
and gives you, runs you through the different cycles. It tells you the odometer, which is 67 miles, gives you the range. That's uh, so if you have it hooked up to a, a battery that comes with the system. Mine was uh, independent. The time uh, of uh, the last uh, trip, uh, the trip mileage, the maximum speed that you were going, and the average speed you were going. And I'm doing this all by hitting the on off button and back to the mileage. And that's all there is. Up on the left hand side, there's also a, a feature for the clock. You can set that back to the settings. Uh, but uh, once you get there, it's just a matter of hitting the on and off button and moving back and forth with uh, plus and minus. Some features I forgot to mention were by pushing the, the plus button, it sets the different power levels. And you can go, I have it set for three as we mentioned before, but you can go down to zero, which shuts it off. If you hit the brakes, brake light indication comes on and if you push the the bottom key it uh, it pushes the, the bike forward hope you enjoyed the video take care